having completed our expedition through Uganda and Kenya in search of rhinos, Mark and I have stepped off the beaten path, traveling directly to Madagascar. Mark has arranged that we shall be camping. Paradise. No, I don't. I haven't camped since <laughs> I was 16. One night. You're joking. Chagford, Devon. Are you it was serious? supposed to be four nights. First night camping, hated it so much. Spent all my pocket money in the Ring of Bells pub. You are kidding me. You, you surely camped since 16. <laughs> no, only in the homosexual sense. Oh. I know. Oh, hell. Well, I, I wish I'd ordered two tents now. I'm going to go and sort <laughs> that out. In every way. <laughs> <clears throat> what? <clears throat> oh, my God. Well, I slept in patches and snatches. I slept the sea to one side of me and the noisiest jungle in the world to the other. I suppose I can't complain, but <sighs> I'd rather have had a bed, to be perfectly honest. The island of Nosy Mangabe is an idyllic tropical paradise and just the sort of place any self-respecting exotic species might choose to set up home. But Mark is keen we waste no time looking at the scenery. Oh well. Look at look at this, Stephen. Look at this. This is a, a leaf-tailed gecko, and look at its tail. Oh my god, oh, it's just like an old mouldy oh. leaf. Flicked it. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> But it is probably the most extraordinary example of camouflage you'll ever see. And it's even got this sort of ragged edge so that it breaks up the outline yes. a little bit and the, all these markings all over it just match the, the tree trunk. This one's a panther chameleon. Even before our search for wildlife has properly begun, it seems to be finding us at every turn. They're wonderful creatures, aren't they? Fantastic. Do their eyes kind of go 360 degrees? They seem to go in any direction. They swivel up and they down. They do. They're independent as well. They can do right. two things. They can, uh, I, they can either look at and focus on two things at once, or yeah. they can put them both in front and then get binocular vision like Is that to hone in on exactly on an insect with their tongue, is yes. it? Yes. Stephen? Yeah? Look what I found. I found the most amazing thing. Look. That oh is God. the smallest chameleon in the world, pygmy chameleon. Oh, my God! Isn't that just fantastic? It's a finger wide. And, and you're, you're telling me that is a full-grown adult? That is the smallest chameleon in the world. It just shows what's here. I mean, what goodness knows what we're missing walking through the forest like this. <laughs> <laughs> 